Hello and welcome all, Atlas here. Today we have another interesting, awesome character to transition into the world of Skyrim. Today I have a really exciting one to those that are into their bows and arrows and swords within Skyrim. We will be creating another legendary historical figure known as the legendary historic outlaw to the one who robs the rich and gives to the poor. I give you Robin Hood. Now, as what Atlas usually does, I've been researching deeply into the internet, as well as looking into books, as well as watching the films, to give us an insight on our character. I learned that there are many different versions of Robin Hood that the movies and TV series, and also animation, has portrayed of him. According to English folklore, legends dating back into the medieval times, Robin Hood was known to be highly skilled in archery and combat as well as being a natural leader for the people of Nottingham, especially for outcasts and bandits. Robin Hood was known to have many names before he became Robin of the Hood. Robin Longstride leads his men through the forest, back to their own camp during the crusade. Robin was only an archer and had an English troop to lead an assault on the French stronghold. Robin and his men fought valiantly alongside King Richard the Lionheart. One of the archers attempts to plant a bomb but gets stuck. Robin races to him and rescued him before the French can kill him. Robin then retreated to safety before igniting the gate, then all of a sudden, the English troops attacked. Celebrating the battle, Robin set up a memory game, where he hides a pea under the three cups. Most people fall for it, but Little John is determined to beat him in the game. When, or when Robin offers three choices, Little John accuses him of cheating by hiding the pea in his hands while turning all of the cups. However, removing all of the three cups, it reveals that the pea was under the center of the cup the whole time. Then Little John attacks Robin and a brawl was out. Then suddenly, they were interrupted by the king's arrival. By the king, he asked who started the fight. Robin says that it was his fault. The king asked Robin and asked him if he is honest enough to tell him his thoughts on the crusade. The king wonders rather God would be pleased. Robin says no. Just the slaughter of the last battle made Robin feel that God did not approve of their actions and that they had acted like barbarians. Robin and his men are put into stocks and Robin swears that he is done fighting and will return home once released. Meanwhile, King Richard dies on the battlefield. The young man that Robin saved sees the incident and runs back to the stocks to free Robin and his friends. They grab their equipment and flee the camp as quickly as possible. Sir Robert Loxley is leading the Knights of King Richard through the forest when Sir Godfrey's men attacked and ambushed them, they killed most of the knights. Loxley is then hurt with a spear and dies slowly. Godfrey asks about the whereabouts of King Richard and is surprised to hear that the king was killed in battle. Loxley told him that the king's crown is in the bag on the king's horse. Godfrey's men attempt to recover it but the horse runs away directly towards Robin and his men. 
Robin recognises the horse and knows it was the king's steed, so then Robin had a plan. Robin and his men arrive at the ships and to present themselves as knights. The guardians of the ships tell Robin that they were expecting twelve knights, and the king, but Robin informs them that the King Richard is dead and represents them with his crown. They bring the men aboard and they set sail for England. The next morning Robin is up and sees they are not far away from England and his men are starting to get nervous that their masquerade will be undone by the members of the royal court. Robin tells them that they should be ready to run for their lives if they are recognised as impostors. The royal court expects to see the king. However, King Richard's mother, Eleanor, suspects something is wrong when Robin comes ashore instead of Richard. Robin gives the crown to Eleanor. Carefully watching from a distance, Godfrey watches from afar as Robin delivers the crown. Secretly, he was a spy working for the French. Meanwhile, Prince John is shocked that his brother is dead. Then his mother presses the crown on John's head, and now he is king of England. Robin decides that it was a good time to leave and go to Nottingham to visit the house of Loxley. A couple of months later, a messenger arrives from Marshall, requesting Sir Walter's assistance in the preparing of the troops. So instead, Robin rides out to meet Marshall, who is telling the barons of the north that Godfrey is attempting to cause chaos so that England can become conquered by France. The French begin to invade England. As Robin and his men ride out for the coast preparing for the battle, King John asked Robin and Marshall what they need to do to beat the French. Robin leaves the archers to the cliffs, tops, and Marshall leads the ground troops. They charge the French in battle. Little John fights alongside Robin and other men. Then King John charges into the battle for personal glory. And also, Lady Marion disguised as a man attempts to kill Godfrey, but he drags her into the water and tries to drown her. Robin charges Godfrey and tackles him. Then a duel on the shore in front of the French boats. Marion forces herself up while Robin is caught between the two French boats. Godfrey flees the scene and Robin escapes the boats and picks up a bow and arrow. He sees Godfrey in the distance and shoots him with an arrow through the neck. Then Robin pulls Marion out of the water and kisses her. The English troops celebrated as they pushed back the French and King Philip ordered a retreat. England are victorious and King John sees Robin carrying Lady Marion. King John notices that the French were surrendering to Robin. Then later, King John sees him as a threat. He declares Robin an enemy of the crown and outlaw as he refuses to sign the, the Magna Carta and burns the document. Then, later on that same day, the Sheriff of Nottingham reads a declaration of wanted that anyone who helps Robin will be killed. As he was looking for a nail to hang up his poster, Robin shoots the poster into the tree with an arrow as an act of rebellion. Marion, Robin and his men retreat to the Sherwood Forest and then the legend begins. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that story, and now we are on our favourite part, into our character creation menu. Before I start, I would like to get a like, subscribe and a comment, and I would also like to say a big thank you yet again to all the new supporters, and I would also like to say welcome aboard to all the people that is supporting this channel now. Okay, enough chit chat, let's get straight into the action, let's go. Okay, and here we are, in our Skyrim creation menu. So, okay, 
Um, right, so let's have a little look at So it's definitely not going to be these two. Or these either. So let's just have a little look at these race abilities, I think. Um, I'm going to say no, we don't want that one. Maybe the Nord. Uh, no, let me check the Imperial a minute. Oh yeah, nah, nah, it's definitely not going to be that. Okay, um, right, let me have a little look. Ooh, okay. I'll come back to him in a minute. Hang on, I just want to check out the last one. Right, Clan Folk of the Western Valen Forest, also known as the Blossmo. Scouts and Thieves, and they are... Okay, according to the what it's saying here, they're saying that they're the finer archers in all of Tamriel. So I guess this is possibly the best race for the archer category. But then here's the thing. We don't want an elven looking, you know, Robin Hood, but that's entirely up to you what you do like, you know. But personally, I think I'm going to go with the Red Guard. And the reason why I've picked Red Guard is that it says here that the most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel. So I wonder if that covers the archery category too. Yeah, bear with me here. Like I know, it's quite an odd category to pick, yeah? But I've got a, I'm using my gut instincts and I've got a good feeling with this character. But I'm going to change his presence to hopefully it'll be a different category altogether, like, you know? But these two categories, the Red Guard and the Wood Elf, are the best categories for the archery. But the Wood Elf seems to be the best one, though. But personally, like I said, we're just going to go with the uh, Red Guards. So I'm interested to see how this is going to look. So, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go through the presents. Right. No. I'm looking for something... Ah, bingo, right. I kind of like the look at that. Okay, so just pay close attention, alright? So this is going to be a highly detailed video, okay? Right, that's too dark. Right, I want something... Yeah, I'd say here. Right, wait. I want something to be in the middle. Okay. Uh, I'd say, yeah, we could give him a bit of complexion. I say, uh, you can keep him clean if you want to, but I'm going to give him a little bit of complexion, and uh, maybe a bit of dirt too, see about that much dirt or dirt, uh, just see in a minute, okay, yeah, scar maybe, nah, yeah, keep that clean, clean, okay, Right, I'm going to keep the nose exactly as it is, because I quite like that. But however, I am going to slightly ad adjust the height bit, though, to about here. Uh, keep that as it is. Right, slightly in. Right, yeah, just copy exactly as I do, okay? Draw forwards, cheekbone height. Yeah, so say about here. Perfect. Um, yeah, leave that, leave all them exactly as it is. Right, and then we go on to eyes. Uh, personally, I'm pretty happy with the eyes, to be honest. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. So we're going to keep exactly all of that. However, I am going to slightly put it in the middle, though. So about here. Okay. Uh, yeah, have it to about... Not too wide, okay? Um, yeah, have that in the middle. Nah, keep it exactly as it is. That, that's great. Okay, uh, the brow. Okay, let's have a little look at the brow type, shall we? Um, I'd say, yeah, let's just keep it uh, like that a minute, all right? So, okay, uh, slightly up. Tingy pit web, slightly forwards. That's great. Um, mouth shape. I'm just going to have a little look at the mouth shapes we got, alright? Um, nah, nah. Nah. Let's just go back to the to the original one. Um, 
That's too big. Right, it's too small. Personally, let me just go for a minute. Right, I'm gonna stick with. Uh, his lips are way too small. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with uh, with this one. All right. All right, I'm off height, slightly down, or we could have a little look at what it's going to be like in the middle. Let's bring this up a bit. I think mostly the hair and the beard is going to definitely do this. This one, i got a good feeling about this. Yeah, keep all that exactly as it is. Right, okay. Okay, this is for the hair category now. Right, so I'm going to be looking for something. Um, no. Something like that, but I want it to be a bit shorter. And a bit more finer to the edge. Yes. Perfect. Right. Okay. Let's just keep going. Uh, that's too much. Um, it's too much, too much beard. Needs to be a bit shorter. Mm, yeah, not bad, not bad. Let's just, 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 just keep looking a minute. Um, nah. Um, just keep going. We want something that's just in line. Ah, look at that. Oh, yes, perfect. Yes, that's what we want. Brilliant. Right. I'd say he's pretty much done I'd say like you know but um now nah, let's just keep his hair black because he looks good I think he's pretty much done so okay I think our Robin Hood build is finished and he looks great so okay so okay then I guess we are on to our clothes and weapons now so okay I'm really excited to see this so let's just see what happens next Yep, Robin Hood. <laughs> 